Prostrations to Ramana, shining as a self in all beings. By the immense grace of the self manifest as Ramana, today we are celebrating ARN Day, the day of Thai Pusam, the day when Sri A.R. Natarajan, the founder president of Ramana Maharshi Center for Learning Bengaluru, merged with Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharshi. This is the day according to the Tamil or the Indian calendar, the day of Thai Pusam. It's a day very sacred to Lord Subramanya. And the date on which Sri Aran merged was the 23rd of January. This was in 2008. 14 years have passed and year upon year Bhagavan has allowed the celebration of two events. One which is the Thai Pusa. This is traditionally celebrated at Ramana Kendra Chennai as ARN day because Sri Arnatrajan was very deeply associated with all the Kendras. Initially, before coming to Bengaluru, he was secretary of Ramana Kendra Delhi, and subsequently, he had close association with Ramana Kendra Chennai and Ramana Kendra Madurai as well. So, the Chennai Kendra would pay a tribute to Sri Arnatrajan through the celebration of this day. And traditionally, this day has been celebrated with a musical feature by Dr. Ambika Kameshwar. This year, in view of the situation that prevails, we are having an online presentation. And also this year, it will be a nostalgic presentation down memory lane. It's a presentation which is new online. It is being premiered for the first time in full. And it is a selection from one of our earlier events. Because of the aptness of the subject or the theme. The theme of this musical feature or Isai Perurai by Dr. Ambika Kameshwar is Nava Vida Bhakti. It is appropriate because the Thai Pusam celebration of A.R. Natarajan celebrates him as a devotee of Bhagavan. And the English date celebrates his contribution to the founding and the growth of Ramana Maharshi Center for Learning. It celebrates the, his vision for the center by showcasing the different events of the center. The theme Nava Vida Bhakti is apt for celebrating Sri R. Natarajan because he is undoubtedly one of the great devotees of Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharshi, one who was greatly in love with the master. His family were closely associated with Bhagavan Sri Ramana. His paternal grandfather, Sri Krishna Swami, he was the interpreter during Bhagavan's Virupaksha years when Humphreys, the first Western devotee, came to visit Bhagavan. So that was the extent of association with Bhagavan. But by the Master's Leela, by Bhagavan's divine play, 
Shri Arnatrajan himself had not heard of Bhagavan Shri Ramana Maharshi until 1956. And he came to Bhagavan through Shravanam. He read his glory in Arthur Osborne's Ramana Maharshi and the Path of Self-Knowledge. And then he was completely given to Bhagavan. He was completely drawn to him. Shravanam, Kirtanam. And he, for the rest of his life, literally spent his life in singing his glory, in singing Ramana's glory, in proclaiming Bhagavan's glory to the world. I would often say that because he had missed seeing Bhagavan in the physical, in the physical form, in the physical presence, he had missed that version. He did not want anyone in this world to miss out on that great, that Mahashakti called Ramana and he would literally declare from the mountain tops, he would call out saying here is the way as Murugana says, this is the way, come take refuge in Ramana, Satrinan Nan Umakku Tarunamamidu. Saranamaha adain the uyir valmine. The nectar of immortality has come to Arunachala. Come surrender, come surrender. So that was the kirtanam which Hayar Natarajan would do and he wrote. But he would also sing, though he was not a singer, he would sing some verse, very often verses composed by Bhagavan on Arunachala. Whenever he gave a talk at the Ramana Maharshi shrine or in other forums during workshops held by Ramana Maharshi center and more often than not when he started singing those verses like Karunayal ennai andani enakku un kachitandu arulilai enral he himself would choke and tears would come to his eyes and he would find it difficult to continue that was the love which he had for singing the master's glory and he would listen of course to the singing of that glory of that kirtanam he would listen to ramananjali music every day and he would infuse energy that joy into the ramananjali team asking us to sing sing with abandon, sing with full love for the master. That was his approach to Kirtanam. The third form of relating to the Lord, the third form of Bhakti in the Navavida Bhakti is Dhyanam. Of course, a favorite verse of Sri Ayarnatrajan was Jagadishwara Shastri's Dhyana Shloka and he adored the Ashtotram's Dhyana Shloka by Vishwanatha Swami. He also loved that Dhyana Shloka which went Prasida Ramana Prabhu and he would diligently give some time to Dhyana every day. He would also point out that in the Ramana way Dhyanam needs to be 24 bar 7. He would often tell me that work and worship are not apart from each other. It has to be all the time. Life has to be unhurried, recollected and meditative. Bhagavan has pointed out to the fact that Arunachala liberates just by the thought of it. There was no time there was no moment when Sri Yarnatrajan was not in the remembrance of Bhagavan. That's why he would say with such certainty that all time is meditation time. All the time one must be in the thought of Bhagavan. All the time one must be in the thought of the self. 
that was the smarana it was a natural smarana for him bhagavan was not something which he would get himself to think about someone whom he had get himself to think about bhagavan was an undercurrent in his life all the time the smarana of bhagavan was more by way of wanting to serve him about a week before he was absorbed i heard him calling out loudly to bhagavan ramana from our puja room saying my master i want to serve you i want to serve you such was his love and he told me i just have so much desire to serve the master but i don't have fear that i won't be able to do it i just want to i just have so much of love and that was the pada sevanam he wanted to serve he wanted to serve and in a way he loved doing seva or worship of bhagavan archanam of bhagavan through his own feet he loved to go round and round circumambulate bhagavan shrine whether it is at shri ramana ashramam around the ramaneshwara mahalingam or here at the ramana shrine at bangalore he could go round bhagavan for hours on end that was the kind of a, of a seva that he loved to do and he loved to offer flowers he would pick the flowers he would choose the flowers and he would offer them to bhagavan he would be very happy if bhagavan was decorated with plenty of flowers and my sister dr ambika kameshwar who is isai peru rai we are going to listen to shortly she recollected that soon after my father was absorbed in bhagavan my mother shri shrimati sulochana natrajan said during the memorial meeting my husband loved to offer flowers to bhagavan now he himself has become a flower garland around bhagavan's neck and of course this was his prostration to him we often sing that song unake namaskaram unake namaskaram that is the concluding song of every ramananjali and that was how Sri Anatrajan lived his life if there was any doubt about any event he would say i first offer the event to bhagavan i offer the course of action to bhagavan i i offer it to him as a vandanam and only then take up the course of action and this offering automatically shows that he looked upon bhagavan as his master he called out to him as master he referred to him as bhagavan he wrote of him as ramana that sweet name which he had heard of and come to him and he called out to him as master he was his servant and he wanted to serve him so that pada sevanam was there and the dasa bhava was also there and he was it a way a friend i would not say very much a sakya bhava with bhagavan whether it was there i do not know in ayana natrajan of all the navavida bhakti but certainly atma nivedanam was there he was completely surrendered and the message the last message he left me with which gave me a lot of understanding of the beauty of atmani vedanam and strength and support to carry on the work at ramana maharshi center for learning was a chance conversation when he said i have great love to serve the master i have a lot of desire many things that i want to do but it is the master's will whether he wants to get these things done through me or not i have no fear that it may not get done if it is the master's will that these things should get done through me i would be very happy for that to happen if it is the master's will that 
it should not happen through me, but it should happen through somebody else. That is also fine, that is also the master's will. And if it is his will that these desires of mine may not come to fruition, that is also perfectly fine. And I'm not very keen on taking another body. But if it is the master's will that I should come back and serve him, so be it. Whatever be the master's will, that is perfect. So be it. Let his will prevail. It was complete Atmani Vedana to Bhagavan Ramana. And so this sharing from Dr. Ambika Kameshwar, which covers the whole gamut of Indian heritage, the various sages and saints, and has special focus on compositions by Bhagavan and on Bhagavan and on Arunachala will take us into the heart of a bhakta, the bhakta whom we are celebrating right now. And in celebrating this bhakta, we are celebrating all bhaktas and we are celebrating the glory of bhakti and of course the glory of Bhagavan who is the essence, the lahari of the bhakti. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Ramanaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Ramanaya. Welcome devotees. A brief introduction of the artist of the day. Dr. Ambika Kameshwar, she is born into the Ramana faith. Her parents were devotees much before she was born. So therefore, she was born into the devotion of Ramana since her childhood. She is the founder director of Rasa, Ramana Sundritya Alaya. She is a dancer, choreographer, classical singer, this and much more. She has had intensive training in Bharatanatyam, Kuchipidi and creative dance under Kumari S. Meenakshi, Dr. Narendra Sharma and a host of other reputed exponents of dance. A multifaceted personality, she is a noted dancer, choreographer, vocalist, music composer and above all a rehab facilitator. She is also a very respected and loved teacher. She has presented dance and music concerts all over the world, recorded music for the Sangeeta Recording Company and has also choreographed solo dance pieces and dance dramas and various themes. Almost most of the dance themes are produced by the Ramana Maharshi Center. She has done her PhD in Natya Binaya from the University of Madras and a post-doctoral fellowship as a senior fellow of the Government of India with the application of dance, drama, music and other, art, uh, other aspects of theatre for holistic development. <coughs> her special emphasis on her studies has been with children and adults with disabilities. She has given many lecture demonstrations and has won the award of Best Lecture Demonstration from the Krishna Gana Sabha Chennai. She is the recipient of the prestigious Kalai Mamani Award for her outstanding contribution in the field of dance from the Government of Tamil Nadu and ELSI Nadagamandram in the year 2004. Dr. Ambika's skills have found fruition, so to say, as a repertoire artist of the Ramana Maharshi Center for Learning, Bangalore, and as the co-director, founder of Rasa Chennai. She is today accompanied by Sri Narasimhan on the Mridangam, on the Tabla by Sri Srinivas, on the violin and keyboard by Sri Sai Kirti, on the special effects by Sri Vincent Paul. Over to Dr. Ambika Kameshwar for the nine paths to presence. Aruna. Chalavarar ketra Akshara manamale chatra Aruna chalavarar ketra Akshara manamale chatra Karuna Karaganapati Karuna Karaganapati Karam Marudi Kapa 
satsanga we have been actually in nothing but his presence in the present it has been palpable more than not all of us with our limited entities need to fine tune our energies to feel his presence that's all and in that scope within that spectrum of us needing to fine tune to his presence is this presentation of nine paths to his presence the nava vidha bhakti the gita charya in bhagavad gita he says bhaktya tu ananyaya shakya aham evam vidhorjuna ज्ञातुं द्रष्टुं च तत्वेन प्रवेष्टुं च परंतप भक्त्या तु अनन्यया शक्य द ओनली वे टू ट्रूली अचीव मी इज थ्रू भक्ति इफ वी वर ऑल द टाइम फीलिंग एंड एक्सपीरियंसिंग नथिंग बट हिम एंड हिम अलोन देर इज नो ड्यूएलिटी बट द मोमेंट यू गेट इन टू ड्यूएलिटी भक्ति इज द मार्ग to dissolve into him says geeta charya gyatum drashtum cha tatvena praveshtum cha parantapa gyatum you will know me drashtum you will see me tatvena praveshtum and in truth you will enter me cha parantapa in the bhagavatam prahlada tells his father hiranyakashipu he is a great devotee of narayana and hiranyakashipu will come to his story later if required if time permits is not and he cannot understand this devotion to narayana and prahlada tells him shravanam kirtanam vishnu having a relationship with swami with narayana bhagavan is hari aadi itara jeevargal ahavarija guhayil arivai rami paramatthuman arunachala ramanan he is the hridaya of hari himself when asked who are you he said hari aadi hari len aarambichu that is starting from hari every single manifestation the heart which is is me ஹரி ஆதி இதர ஜீவர்கள் அகவாரிச்ச குகையில் அறிவாயிரமி பரமாத்துமன் அருணாச்சல ரமணன் திஸ் விஷ்ணு த ஹார்ட் ஆஃப் விஷ்ணு த்ரூ திஸ் நவவித பக்தி ஸோ ஸ்ரவணம் கீர்த்தனம் ஸ்மரணம் பாதசேவனம் அர்ச்சனம் வந்தனம் தாசியம் சக்கியம் அண்ட் ஆத்ம நிவேதனம் we will quickly go over these nine and enjoy this ramana bhakti through the songs of shri bhagavan and those who have experienced bhagavan and expressed that experience through their poetry shravana yoga shravana yoga is what we are all doing over here as i speak i don't speak even i am listening only to his voice all of us are only listening 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 taking in taking in taking in his nama his pugal his glory 
and this has been given one of the highest places because it is easy we need to do nothing but accept sit and enjoy what we have to hear and therefore it is given a very high place rukmini she only hears of krishna shrutva gunan bhuvana sundara shunvatam te nirvishya karna vivaraihi harato angatapam i have heard of your gunas and those who hear of you she has not seen them nothing afterwards only she says what happens when rupam drishyatam what happens but we are in shravana yoga now harato angatapam any difficulty that is there in the body anga does not necessarily only mean this body anything that has a manifestation is anga it could be the mind it could be the intellect harato angatapam at that time she doesn't mean this sanga nirvishya karna vivarai because there is a physical manifestation of the ear through which that nama has to go and register in the mind body system intellect through the intellect she says harato angatapam nirvishya karna vivarai hi harato angatapam shravana yoga prakhlada himself before he gave this path of navavida bhakti to his father how did he get into that path itself only through shravana yoga because when he was in the womb of his mother he was in narada's ashrama listening to narayana nama narayana nama all the time and that is why he came through shravana marga shravana yoga only into narayana bhakti nayana he came running to him having done crores of tapas he did not get that fullness in his search i remember a few seminars ago akka was talking about this nayana coming to bhagavan what must have been his state at that time etne what i what i call this pirivu in tamil rang that is how his heart condition must have been searching everywhere not finding not finding not finding till he comes running to bhagavan and the moment he sees him he asks him what do i do and he says find the source of your mantra that is tapas pashyami 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 he sees him immediately as murugan giving him the upadesha pashyami devadattena jnanena tvam muhur muhu brahmanyanam varam brahma subramanyam naradhim pashyami devadattena jnanena tvam muhur muhu brahmanyanam varam brahma subramanyam naradhim subramanyam naradhim all bhagavan shri ramana maharshi this is he says he says this is umas arul this is deva anugraham that i am able to see him as such definitely this bhakti marga you cannot get into this ramana satsanga you cannot get into you cannot get into any of these things but for his arul he is grace personified otherwise where would we be here i know so many people who would have, who would have not got the information about this this program or not been able to come because of some obstacle or the other some may have even planned to come and last minute problems may have occurred but once why is it that this group of people is are here to just enjoy this ramana satsanga because of his grace avan arulale avan taal vanangi paar muludum unadu thiru peyar vaalga paar the 
entire world that here is Bhagavan, here is Swami Himself, here is God. He is Shri personified. He is Lakshmi, He is Aishwaryam in every way. He is Shriyam. Indira Pratigrunhati, Indira Vai Dadaticha, Indira Taraye Dvabhyam, Indira Ye Namo Nama. It comes for Lakshmi. So she is the one, she is manifest, and He is Shri. Shri Ramana Maharishi. Ramana because he is so sweet. He is magnetic in his form. And Maharishi is his manifestation in this particular form is that of a Rishi and a Maharishi at that. So Bhagavan Shri Ramana Maharishi. Muruganar also heard of this Bhagavan Shri Ramana Maharishi. He doesn't he had heard of this Bhagavan Shri Ramana Maharshi. He had, through his father-in-law, he had also read Aksharamana Malai. He had enjoyed Aksharamana Malai. And this yearning again comes into him. And he is by divine grace taken to Arunachala to see Shri Bhagavan. He comes there and normally we will take some fruits, some maybe dry fruits, something we have to give the Sadhguru, something when we go to see great people, visit great saints, we cannot go empty handed. So he thinks, Dhringana Samandar was robbed of everything before he reached Arunachala. Everything was literally by Shivaganas. As hunters, manifest as hunters, everything was taken away. Andiya hadam ponuntu. You must be completely bereft. Aiga, jabri, bulava, harika, chodke, sabku jana padega. Everything was taken away from him. So Muruganar is there, but he wants to take something and go. What does he have? He has his kavitvam. That also given by Bhagavan, no? That's been given in advance. Why? Because he is the one who uh, saw to it. As Shiva, he came. To listen to Manika Vachakar, he saw to it that Manika Vachakar came again as Muruganar. He himself manifests as Bhagavan, Shiva Tattva. Therefore, Manika Vachakar come as Muruganar, has to start his Kavitva on Bhagavan, no? Somewhere it has to have a beginning. So he thinks he has his Kavitvam. And he decides to write a poem. Write a poem on him and take it and present it to him. And even before, this is only again only Shravana, only he's only heard of him. He had not seen him. Some see him and then come to him, some read about him, come to him, some hear about him, come to him. Muruganar was one such. So he wrote this poem and even before he sees him, he knows he is the Shiva Tattva. He writes, Parvala Kaila, Parupa, the Ningi, Pandava, Sudale, Vit, Varoli, Manipol, Vachakar Vakai, Valasevi, Madutti, Virumbi, Airvala Piran, Tandurai, Adindar Pol, Isine, Punsulum, Vet, Sirvala, Aruni, Serumpadi, Serndai, Desikaramana Madeve. Why this form, he says, of the Kailasapati, of Shiva himself, and you have come down as. Our Sadhguru, he says, I will sing the Kannada translation of this. Hindindu kailas parivar toredu vachagar vachana
lovely it is to sing his name in the bhakti marga in the bhakti movement if we see in india every single poet saint has extolled the greatness of kirtana rama nama payasake krishna nama sakare vithala nama tuppava beresi baaya chapparisiro But what he means is so beautiful is his name that it is like payasa it's so sweet definitely you can feel it when you are chanting his name the sweetness of it of it you can feel that ramana nama when you chant that kirtana when you do you can definitely feel it that's why every single राम कहो रहमान कहो कहो कान्ह कहो महादेवरी पारसनाथ कहो कहो ब्रह्म सकलमेव स्वयमेवरी गुरु नानक कबीर सीख सीख यू हैव अ सूफी सेंट हियर कबीर कमल मुख हरि भजन को दिया कमल मुख राम भजन को दिया जो मुख निस दिन राम नाम नहीं वहां तुम कच्छु नहीं किया कहत कबीरा सुनो भाई साधु आया वैसे ही गया इफ यू डोंट डू कीर्तन ऑफ इम इफ यू डोंट डू kirtana doesn't necessarily mean we have to put on the shruti box and start singing his name no kirtana means going on talking about him is also kirtana that is praising him enjoying his name and you know kameshwar will always say you know in uh, north india they have this beautiful uh, slogan kind of thing he'll say they'll say प्रेम से बोलो जय माता दी प्रेम से बोलो सो इट्स नॉट दैट यू नो जिस रमण 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 ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू नॉट बीन इनिशिएटेड विद रमण भक्ति यू वोंट इवन चैंट इट दैट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी ऑल टुगेदर बट इवन व्हेन यू चैंट इट एंजॉय द चैंट एंजॉय द नामा बिकॉज़ यू आर एट दैट टाइम एंजॉयिंग द एंटायर यूनिवर्स देन द भक्ति ऑफ द एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज देयर विद यू एट दैट टाइम not one nalu boda entire universe is bhukti not jangri not alu bonda million times that million trillion 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 times that so that is the feel that is the kirtana he says rama tyagaraja swami also says rama niyada prema rahitunaku ni nama ruchi telusuna if you don't have prema for him if you don't have love for him you cannot understand that nama ruchi he says so it is like that the kirtana mira bhai every single great saint has adi shankara supposed to be the greatest advaitin but how this advaita when manifest in this form of bhakti is advaita only is clearly seen in bhaja govindam bhaja govindam govindam bhaja moodamate and why do we have to do all that comes in the next line samprapte sannihite kale nahi nahi rakshati dukrum karane he does not mean the grammatical term dukrum karana at that time he means every single connection with this world manifest as that repeated repeated coming and going repeated coming and going repeated coming and going repeated dukrun karana dukrun karana dukrun karana dukrun karana which that boy was learning up in kashi dukrun karana that's what we are doing no all the time 
not talking about the academic learning alone this connection this connection again 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 sampraapte sannihite kale nahi nahi rakshati dukrun karane then what is it that will really take us across ramachandra kripalu bhajuman harana bhav bhay darunam what will take us across is rama's name ramana ramana's name janmanasame seravaippadum kanma vasanai kalalavaippadum ramana namame here a kannada translation of that lovely song of sadhu om janmana shava taruda vudu karma vasani not doing that you are mudhamati 
just like Bhag- like just like adi shankar says adi arunagiri annallar adi arunagiri annallar adi arunagiri adi arunagiri adi arunagiri அருணாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச்சலாச
that moon of the sharad ritu even more beautiful it's supposed to look dhyaye charada chandra sundara mukham tamrara vindekshanam his eyes are like lotus aravinda ikshanam bhakta bhishta varabhay pradakaram he gives abhishta that he gives what you want and then he gives abhaya total nirbhayatvam is complete only jeevan mukti only merging in him will give total nirbhayatvam and that he gives that abhayatvam he gives after having given you bhukti so he gives you bhukti and then he gives you mukti we are not ready you see we have to be pampered vittu pidikano i remember poorna when she was a little girl she has so much of music in her she is dam purva janma sukritam and bhagavan's grace when that gnanas kandan sir i had appointed i had requested one great guru to come and teach her music because she was not literally you know ready to learn from me at that time dance she accepted me as her guru but music she didn't accept me as her guru because i didn't have many students at that time now i have of course at that time i didn't have many students for music i had many students for dance so she saw me in the role of a teacher in dance but in music she didn't see me as a role of a teacher so she didn't connect so she didn't want to learn music from me and i knew so i requested gyanesh kandan sir i knew the foundation would be fantastic for her requested him to come he will come poor thing he will come walking all the way and a uh, little child of 5 not very interested in party class naturally and just generally singing is different but you know any structure is not very liked by children if they feel little bound yeah boundless energy is there in them they like to be left free free ya uttudungale some people will say and the mother so she used to run away literally when he she used to see that see him coming in at the gate through that grill grill window at the veranda she'll go run behind in the kitchen there was one little small space where the vessels used to be kept she was little you see she was small so she used to go and hide herself there behind all the bale hannu and the patres so he'll come poor thing he'll say inge kolande where is where is the little one he'll say sir avo pinadi poi ulinjikira she's running and hiding behind she doesn't want to come and பரவாயில்லம்மா விட்டு பிடிப்போம் விட்டு பிடிப்போம் ஸோ லெட் எஸ் லெட் எஸ் லீவ் ஹர் அண்ட் தென் கேட் ஹர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹி வில் லீவ் அஸ் டு ஹாவ் ஆல் ஆர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் இட்ஸ் நாட் ஆஸ் எ வி ஆர் நாட் இன் இஸ் ஹோல்ட் யூ சி ஸோ ஹி ஹேஸ் வி ஆர் ஆல்வேஸ் ஓன்லி இன் ஹிஸ் ஹோல்ட் ஸோ திஸ் தெஸ் நோ எஸ்கேப்பிங் இட் ஸோ ஹி சஸ் விட்டு பிடிப்போம் தட்ஸ் வாட் ஹி அலவ்ஸ் அஸ் டு டூ ஹி லெட்ஸ் அஸ் enjoy like little children love to enjoy different experiences we are all his babies swami's babies so he allows us to experience all those things and we are always in his pidip so bhakta abhishta varabhaya pradakaram kaupina matrojvalam just in that kaupina he is shining he is resplendent he doesn't need this nice checked sari nice kurtas nice shirts good veshtis van hoosen louis philip nothing kaupina matrojvalam swatmananda rasanu bhuti vivasham he is in that rasa in the essence of the experience of swatmananda the joy of the self swatmananda rasanubhuti vivasham sarvannavadhyangakam faultless presence faultless body even the physical manifestation faultless anavadhyangakam shri mantam i have already talked of him as shri Aishwarya personified shining like a thousand million 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 trillion suns no 
not like the one whom you have to close your eyes to see but whom you can go on seeing looking at this one sun if you have to see we have to do all sorts of things do this 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 try and watch i don't know some way you have to do this and then you know peep through that and manage to see little bit of that sun but here shining resplendent like a trillion suns but which you can take in and take in and take in and go on looking at kannokka maadamo kannokka maadamo kannokka maadamo just sit down with his photograph in front of you watch 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 you will dissolve into him shrimantam ramaneshwaram guru varam he is the greatest among gurus guru varam yogasana dhyasitam dhyayet ramaneshwaram sit in that yogasana and think of him as your heart in your heart chintanam the very beautiful shloka apara satchit sukhavari rashi these are all dhyana shlokas we bring him bring his physical form into the heart lotus so that we can meditate on him smaranam apara satchit sukhavari rashi yes your me matram bhuvanam samastam the entire universe is just one ீஷ்டிய <laughs> and we think we are ekamshena sthito jagat apara satchit sukhavari rashihe yes your me matram bhuvanam samastam guha hitam tam ramanam gabhiram chinta vihinam hridi chintayami remember when you think of him he is one without any chinta chinta vihinam and bring that his chinta vihinatvam into your chinta vidhi chintayami and there is this great very very popular saying of kashya kashyantu maranam mukti when you if you get if you die in kashi you are assured of mukti if you are born in kamalalaya you are assured of mukti but is birth and death in our control where we are born i was telling in another presentation i was recently telling about purna again two examples of purna in this one presentation because i'm all constantly with her you see so she complains that i she was made to be born in netherlands in a new, in a place called wahaningen which is unpronounceable for her so anybody asks her where were you born she has to say wahaningen which she doesn't like so much she prefers something small like chennai she would have probably like tiruvannamalai anything which she relates to wahaningen but well lord wanted her to be born in wahaningen and kameshwar was transferred there one year before that so in wahaningen was she born so birth where we are born certainly not in our control so many people go to kashi in order to die there in order to die there yes because you see shri ramakrishna has actually seen shiva in the ghats of banaras in the near the ganges going and whispering the rama nama as the taraka mantra to every single person who has departed mukti is guaranteed there there is no doubt to put that but can we are we assured death there we don't know we may go there be there for some time and for some reason 
he may be brought away parikshit he tried to avoid death itself he went and sat in the middle of some seven seas or whatever it is had of course he had bhagavata to give him mukti that is shravana yoga he tried to hide himself but death where it will come we don't know but right here right now we can do chintan we can do smarana of bhagavan we can do smarana of arunachala smaranat arunachalam you see but for his grace can we even think of him he alone makes us think of him and that is how can we ever repay him for the abundant grace that he keeps on keeps on keeps on keeps on keeps on showering on us and we keep on keep on keep on keep on complaining smaranat arunachalam arunachala shiva arunachala shiva arunachala shiva arunachala ृष्ण परमहंस touched vivekananda with just his toe and immediately anand 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 brahmanand anand 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 paramanand anand anand he was transported immediately to the highest state of ananda narendra who became swami vivekananda later just his toe and mata shri lakshmi all the time doing pada sevanam to mahavishnu not two are not really apart so it's so beautiful this pada sevanam and for ramana pada seva i felt shiva prakasham pillai's composition would be the most suited of course ramana pada pancharatnam which amma has had the grace to put into the raga format of pancharatnam like the tyagaraja pancharatnam they are big heavy items they need a separate program all together 
வாழ்கவே பாதம் வாழ்கவே வாழ்கவே பாதம் வாழ்கவே வாழ்கவே பாதம் வாழ்கவே வாழ்கவே பாதம் வாழ்கவே இன் எவ்ரி லைன் பாத சேவனம் வாழ்க 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 ரமணன் பாதம் வாழ்கவே வாழ்க 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 வென்றும் வாழ்கவே வாழ்க 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 ரமணன் பாதம் வாழ்கவே வாழ்க 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 வென்றும் வாழ்கவே காண்போர் மனதை கவர்ந்து கொள்ளும் கடவுள் பாதம் வாழ்கவே வேண்டல் வெறுத்தல் இரண்டும் இல்லா விமலன் பாதம் வாழ்கவே காண்போர் மனதை கவர்ந்து ீதியே <laughs> Like that, Shiva Prakash and Pillai in this composition, he says, Manamadakkum vali palavendri mulivon padam vajgave, Anaitin mel vichara maamen raraivon padam vajgave. What is Pada Sevana to him? Doing Atma vichara. That is Pada Sevana to him. Sit down and do Atma vichara. You have done Pada Sevana to him. What are we doing except following his, the, the, his footsteps? That is Pada Seva. Archanam Worship Worshipping him Has a separate beauty altogether I remember my father How he used to revel in worshipping Bhagavan's uh, statue Bhagavan's picture Bhagavan's form He used to enjoy it so much Just watching somebody do worship like that Is worship It's so beautiful to watch So worship him not just like that edo potam puva edo gud 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 ding 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 finished neerajanam finished everything tick 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 no no see i have to run for time literally now i have to run for time what i'm talking about is the morning time that we run for office <laughs> okay see they cut short only that puja fast you know if it's possible just say hi to his form and go away he's in the puja room no on the way take care of my day pa go away worshipping him is so beautiful you know there is this beautiful story which also i said in another presentation it was very very pretty story of this man he was a big devotee he wanted to get sakshat that is he wanted to see sakshat of rama he wanted to see him in form he wanted to have interactions with him probably with some desire to see him in form and so he brought one nice rama vigraham kept it in his puja room and daily he was doing puja to that form to that rama puja then what happened uh, rama never came in front of him as rama so he said this so many days i have been worshiping you as this form you are not coming in front of me and he put him aside and he brought one krishna form and he put it over there started worshiping krishna as he started worshiping krishna what he did he said this form of rama sitting here and he was still in the puja room only thing is he was in the side Krishna was in front Rama side so what he did no he, he looked there and he said this form has not given me sakshatkara for so much of worship given to him so what i am going to do is i don't want him to hear this worship which i am giving this new form of krishna so he took cotton and he stuffed that uh, bombay that uh, bombay uh, what that uh, bimba of uh, rama with with that cotton so that he doesn't hear that worship immediately rama came in front of him 
He said, what? I stopped washing you and you have come off in front of me. How did you come? I stuffed cotton into yours. He said, only now you have thought of me as actually a live person. You have given me life. You feel I can hear, I can see, I can give you my blessings. All this time you thought of me only as a bimba, as a stone, as a statue. Now you have thought of me as something with personification. How can I not come? So when we worship Bhagavan, if we see him, we will see him. We can actually see him, perceive him. But if you think of him only as a bimba, then it is, it will take little more time till his grace descends on you and allows you to see him in full presence. So worship, archanam, shoda shopachara puja, lovely songs have been written. Shona chala shobhitunaki shoda shopacharamulu. But what I will sing today is my sister's composition on Archana, which in which even the process of Archana is equated to him being the parts of the Archana, the Seva itself in its process. Kangalani, Tananda Mane, Yamadi, Nota Villa Tani, Yagi, Joti, Yagi, Ninta Ramana, Namani, Makangalani, Tananda Mane, Yamadi, Nota Villa Tani, Yagi, Joti, Yagi, Ninta Ramana, Nini, Ada Kangalinda, Nina Chelue, Karnotina, Nini. Nanu 
everything is he he is the kangal he is the he is the hands he is the uta which we are giving back to him he is the hridaya which we are offering to him everything is him but so much of joy is there in that kind of worship kannappa nayanar he actually took flowers in his head and uh, abhishek jalam in his mouth and mamsa in both his hands to offer to shiva but how much joy he took that shiva took that worship from he spat that water onto him as abhishek he offered the flowers which were on his head as his to him and he gave the mamsa which he has hunted for as as uh, uh, the prasada but so much of joy patram pushpam phalam toyam yome प्रयति तदहम भक्ति उपरगत अश्नामि प्रयतात्मन वॉट एवर वी ऑफर वी मस्ट ऑफर विथ लव विथ परफेक्शन विथ जॉय एंड विथ दैट अनुभव ऑफ हिम बीइंग दैट वंदनम इज प्रेइंग टू हिम व्हेन वी प्रे प्रे टू हिम आल्सो इट शुड बी अनकंडीशनल प्रेयर absolutely unconditional prayer knowing that he will grant it then he has no option suppose we have a doubt then definitely he may not grant it because then it is in his hand because the doubt has entered your mind but supposing you pray to him with complete surrender vandanam also has to be with totality in which case he has no option but to give you what you ask and not only that such a beautiful composition of trigyana samandar he says that to such a one who does this kind of prayer pugalvar vanorgal even the devas will praise pugalvar malar kondadiyar tholuvar pugalvar vanorgal even the devas have no option oh annamale are oh anna annamale arunachala to to your feet to those who pray with genuineness they are even paid obeisances to by the gods toluvar pugalvar vanorgal they'll praise what wonder what look at that devotion look at that bhakti look at that look at the way he prays how can god not grant what he wants like that they will say says trinyana samandar dasyam dasyam is when we understand that we he alone is the master he is the lord and we are his servants and therefore we cannot have options to do what we want we may be asked to sweep kasturba gandhi when gandhi told her he is the husband so he is the lord there in that context when he told her to wash the bathrooms she said what me wash the bathrooms we cannot ask such questions of the master what me wash the bathroom we should be able to do any job which we consider menial lowly and give it all sorts of tags all the tags are given by us for him he knows that this is the right job for us and therefore he places us there and allows us to do it it is his grace that allows us to do what we consider menial also it is for our spiritual upliftment that he gives us every experience there is no other there is no question there is no doubt about it that every experience in our life is given only to get us closer to the brahma tattva closer and closer and closer to the brahma tattva we don't recognize it that's all and therefore it is that dasyam in sadhuvam's beautiful song he says enna vendum enna vendam enbadai ellam ennai vida nangarindhon embarumane better than me he knows what is right for me and then he says naan ninaitha reevadendral nyayamaguma if will it be right for me to ask me give me this give me that and then will it be right will it be dasatvam to question him dasanaguma will i will i be a dasan if i start questioning him sarvam marindon seigai tappumaguma what he the one who knows everything what he does can it be wrong dasatvam will never question the master da 
ಸೂಡನೇ ನೈಯ ರಮಣ ದಯಗನುಮ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಸಮತೇಜ ವಂದನ ದಾಸೂಡನೇ ನೈಯ ರಮಣ ದಯಗನುಮ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಸಮತೇಜ ವಂದನ question him he is the master he has told you to do this you will jolly well do it and there's there's such a beauty in that you know you just there's no no questioning at all that's just so you're moving in very smoothly from one experience of life into another without any problem just fulfilling the master's will master's will master's will master's will there's nothing other than the master's will is my friend a very dear friend tvameva mata cha pita tvameva tvameva bandushcha sakha tvameva sakhyam is a very beautiful aspect of navavida bhakti where he is your dearest friend a friend in need is a friend in need yourself is always with you venkatesh ji said in his yes atmaiva hi atmano bandhu atmaiva ripuratmanaha kameshwar said the atma alone is he is your best friend he is your worst enemy the atma he says but swami is always your bestest 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 friend when you recognize him as such not only you know and need is all the time there for us and therefore he is the greatest friend he is always there for you the friend in need arjuna when Swami gives the Vishwarupa Darshanam only he realizes my goodness I never knew Sakheti matva prasabham yaduktam He Krishna He Yadava He Sakheti Ajanata mahimanam tavedam Maya pramadat pranayena vapi I was I was in pramada I was in delusion I didn't realize you were God Like that he comes Everywhere I see only Swami only Ramana He is a friend in need Because he is always there with you he may not come in the kaupinavanta kalubhagyavanta kind of roopa but he will be there with you he is the atma bandhu he is the paramaaptan bandhu va mitruda devama ramanuda
song in the latter half also but i felt i must share these lines with you which is why i uh, sang it so nannika samsara bandhamalu cheruna mabbu aa suryuni muyuma muyuna he is asking see he says basically can dust ever touch the sun like that can samsara sagara ever touch us if we have him as a friend and he is our dearest friend that's why the bandham goes when we make him the bandhu immediately the bandha is removed from us and of course the final atma nivedanam when it is only surrendering ourselves in totality dissolving into him and knowing that there is no one called ambika no one called any of us but there is only ramana 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 sharana remember having read a recent article of dr ambika kameshwar in the ramana way where she says her way of reaching either bhagwan or his teachings is through music and dance this is what she has extraordinarily demonstrated today 
big hand to Dr. Ambika Kamishwar. This musical feature could not have been more comprehensive. It was so beautifully interspersed with compositions of virtually every big name, not to forget extensive quotings from the Gita, those of Kabir, Santyagraja, Shankara, Mirabai, Manike Vachagar, the list goes on and on. Of course, not to forget our trike of Ganapati Muni, Murganar and Sadhu Om. This performance, as I said, has taken us through Stravanam, Kirtanam, Archanam, Vandanam, till Atmane Vedanam. In the same way, we all were blessed to have this and I feel that this program could not have been more comprehensive. Our many thanks to her. The accompanying artists were equally vibrant. Sai Kirti on the violin as well as the keyboard provided the right tones with Revati, Sindhu Bhairavi. He was at ease with all those. And of course, the rhythms of uh, Sri Narasimhan on the Murdangam and Sri Srinivas on the Tabla and Vincent Paul on the special effects.